Going home? Yeah, man. You gotta make the best out of a Friday night. Right. All you do is stay home. Well, I'll see you, man. <laughs> Bye, man. Alan? Why did you come back? I came to get my pass, but... What do you think you're doing? Making the best out of my Friday night. What? I'm just going for a massage later. Maybe a little extra? Why don't you follow me? I can choose a girl for you. No, no. I'm good. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Alan, you better be careful, okay? Don't get any... STDs or whatever. Don't worry, it's safe. We're bachelors, Ram. Nothing wrong. <sighs> Have a good weekend, man. Hello? Hello. I'm Lavanya's father. Did you message my daughter last night? Sorry? You messaged my daughter for a massage, right? Asked her for sexual services some more. Uh, yes, but... But she... Shut up! My daughter looks like a prostitute to you, is it? No, sir. Do you know she's only 16 years old? You're trying to take advantage of her? 16? I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. I, di I didn't know that. I didn't call you to hear you saying sorry. I called to just inform you that I'm going to lodge a police report for this. Perverts like you need to be caught. Sir, please, sir, no police reports, sir, please. Hello? Hello? I'm calling from Clementi Police Station. I'm Investigation Officer Jeremy. A parent had just come in to lodge a police report against you. Sir, sir I did not do anything, sir. I didn't know she was underage. I'm sorry. But legal action will have to be taken against you. You do know the consequences of having sex with an underage person, right? Sir, I, I did not do anything, sir. It's my first time engaging in such services. And, and I didn't know she was underage. She at least looked 18 in the picture. Sir, sir. Please help me, sir. Please try, try to understand. All right. Maybe you can try settling the issue amicably with Lavinia's father. Try talking to him. See if both of you can come to an understanding. Yes, sir. I can do that. But I did try to talk to him. It was just didn't, didn't want to listen to me at all. Then we will have to arrest you. Sir, no, don't say that, sir. Please. Don't, don't say that. What's your name? 
So my name is my name is Ram. Ram, please help me to help you. You are aware of the media attention you will get for having sex with an underage girl, right? Think about your job, friends. So try to settle the issue with her father. You have his contact number? Yes, sir. I I do have his number. Yes. I will also have a word with him. Try talking to him. Call him 15 minutes later. Yes, sir. I'll I'll call him after 15 minutes. Bye. Bye, sir. Hello, sir. Please listen to me. I, I really didn't know your daughter was underage. It was my friend who recommended me the website. Sir, I will never ever disturb your daughter again. Please forgive me, sir. You think you can say anything you want to my daughter and just say sorry to me, huh? No, sir. It's not that. But, sir, let's let's try to settle this between ourselves. No need to go to the police, <laughs> sir. Afraid to go to jail, right? Okay. Tell you what. Let's settle this. That's that's great, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. You pay me four thousand dollars. Pay you? Four thousand dollars? So that's so much of money, sir. Up to you. You pay me or go to jail. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll pay, sir. Good. I'll message you my bank account number. I want you to transfer the money in one hour. If not, you know what I'll do, right? Hello. Hello. I, I transferred you four thousand dollars already. Why, why are you asking me for more money now? Cool down. I thought you wanted to settle it with me. You think my daughter is so cheap? Four thousand dollars is not enough. If you cannot afford, you just tell me now. I'll go to the police. Please, no, 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 police, please. You have one hour to transfer two thousand dollars to me. Hello? How much more do you want me to transfer? Please, please leave me alone. Okay. Alan, you carry on for lunch, mate. Rom, is everything okay? Yeah. You sure? Do, do you remember the website that you showed me that day? Yeah. Well, I actually contacted a girl from that website. And? I didn't even meet her. Her father called me and said that she was underaged. He then made a police report. The police officer told to settle it myself if I could. At first, the father asked for four thousand dollars, but now he keeps calling and asking for more and more money. Ram, this is a scam. Well, if if it were a scam, then then how come the police officer called me? And what makes you so sure that it's a police officer and not a scammer? Oh. Ram, you have to report this to the police. So I was really bored that night that I decided to message this girl uh, that I found on a website. 
and uh, she was supposedly providing a massage services and probably uh, probably a little extra. The father accused the victim of trying to get sexual services from an underaged girl. Later on, a supposed police officer called the victim and told him to settle the matter directly with the father. The father then demanded money and he extorted a total of $8,000. Well, I read this morning that there has been a spine in a number of cases with similar ammo. We could be dealing with a syndicate. I got this information from the victim. There's the number that he messaged to and the numbers of the father and the so-called police officer. I need you to screen these numbers with Telco and identify the subscribers of these handphone numbers. Yes, sir. Azar, I need you to find out the name of this bank account holder. This is the bank account that the victim transferred the funds to. Okay. Guys, we need to move fast. I believe that there could be more victims out there who are embarrassed to come forward. Okay. All right, guys, updates? Thank you very much. I'll share the telco. The SIM cards that were used to call the victim were all prepaid SIM cards. They were purchased by a Chinese national who has since left Singapore. It's highly likely that the SIM cards were purchased from the black market. Okay. The bank account that you asked me to check on, it belongs to Kevin Money. Kevin, are you employed? No. And how come there's so much of funds transfer activity in your account? By the look of it, it is clear that the funds are transferred to your account and then immediately withdrawn. Would you like to explain this? Sir, I really didn't know this was happening. This is your bank account. How can you not know about the transactions made through your account? So I've been jobless for a few months now. So I told my friend Jason that I was looking for a job. Jason, can you please help me? I really need a job. Don't worry. I'll ask my friends if their companies have vacancies for you. Thank you so much, Jason. Sarah, you dropping him? Yeah, his house is on my way. Like. I'll drop him. About two weeks later, I received a call. A guy named Brian offered me $200 if I lent him my ATM card. But the thing is, his voice sounded just like Jason. There were also dogs barking, just like in Jason's house. So I asked, Hey, you Jason, right? He denied. He said his name is Brian. Do you still think that was Jason? Because I actually agreed to lend him my ATM card. But this Brian fellow said that he would send someone to collect it from me. Guess who he sent to collect my ATM card? Hello? Uh, hey Kevin, this is Sarah here. Uh, Brian asked you to leave the ATM card and the PIN number under the block, right? Yeah, in an envelope. Why? Uh? Uh, no need. Uh, I'm on my way. I'll come and collect it. I think it's coincidental that both Brian and Jason know Sarah. That's all I know, sir. This Brian guy took my ATM card for his business. Do you have the contact numbers of Brian, Jason and Sarah? Yes, I do. Elton, can you check the call details of these numbers? Sure. You got good news? Yes. I went through the bank statement and I noticed that the money is always withdrawn in the evenings at one of the three ATM machines in Tupayo. I also have the CCTV footage of the person who withdrew the money. According to his withdrawal patterns, it is highly likely that our mystery man will be withdrawing money tonight. My right, guys, let's get a team of officers. Let's try and track this guy down tonight. I'll find position. Charlie in position. position. Tango spotted. Tango is withdrawing the money. Tango is walking back towards the black bike. Echo following Tango.
I've used the photographs to check the identity of the person who drew money from the ATM against our records. His name is Saravanan Utasavarian. Okay, good. And you have the video of the person Saravanan gave the money to. This is his address. Will you be able to go and check and get more details on him? Sure. Azar, call the team for a case conference first thing in the morning. Okay. Yeah? Okay. The victims were keen to receive massages with some extra sexual services when contacting the girl in the advertisement. The scammers also conned the victims to believe that she was underaged. The scammers then extorted money from the victims. A reported amount of $250,000 was extorted in total. This is Saravanan Uteswaran. He was spotted withdrawing money from the designated account to which funds were transferred to by the victims. Saravanan lives at Block 120 Topayo. This is Esudas Jason. Saravanan handed the money over to Jason shortly after withdrawing it. Jason lives at Tumba Walk. We will simultaneously ambush both Saravanan and Jason and arrest them. Elton, you and your team will head over to Block 120 Topayo. Azar and Zach, you will join me and we'll take position at Dunbar Walk. Any questions? No, sir. sir. Alright, let's go. Sarvana Utasvaran, I'm SIO Elton from Mukil Police Division. I'm placing you under arrest for an offence of extortion. Kafi. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Kumaran from Angmokyo Police Division. Is Jason in? Yes, he's in. Yes, so that's Jason. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Kumaran from Angmokyo Police Division. I'm placing you under arrest for the offence of extortion. Got his laptop. Okay. Jason, where are your handphones? Handphones? I don't have any handphones. Guys, continue to search the place. Saravanan, is the hoodie yours? Yes. What about the cat? That's mine. Seize the two items. Sir, we couldn't find any handphones. I already told you, I don't have any handphones. Search the kitchen. this. Saravana, do you call and ask anybody to transfer money to any account? No, I didn't. Jason tells me every time to go collect the ATM card or withdraw money from the ATM. I just give all the money I withdraw. He just gives me commission. Jason, who is loving you? I don't know. Did you call the victims? No. Your SIM card has the victim's numbers. And we also have video evidence of you receiving money from Saravanan. And Saravanan has told us that he has been working for you. So it might be in your best interest to tell us the truth. Who is Lavanya? I... I took a photo off the internet. I created a fake advertisement in the website saying that the girl provides massage and other services. You cheated 40 people in total. And we know that a total of $250,000 was transferred to your account holders' accounts. What did you do when these 40 victims messaged you for such services? I replied them in a sexy way. Got them hooked and ready to meet the girl. 
Then I called them. Hello? Hello? You messaged my daughter for a massage, right? Asked her for sexual services some more. Yes, but... My daughter looks like a prostitute to you, is it? I'm really sorry, sorry. Do you know she's only 16 years old? Sorry, sir. I, I don't know that she's underage, sir. So, who acted as the police officer? That was me. I changed my voice. The actual bank account holder told me that he spoke to a Brian who offered to pay... That was also me. Yesudas Jason was found guilty of 40 counts of conspiracy to commit extortion. He was sentenced to 60 months imprisonment and six strokes of the cane. However, due to his condition, caning was remitted and the court imposed an additional 12 weeks imprisonment in lieu of caning. Saravanan Utasvarian was found guilty of seven counts of conspiracy to commit extortion. He was sentenced to 48 months imprisonment and four strokes of the cane. Kevin, whose bank account had been used for the illegal transactions, will be dealt with separately. The successful resolution of this case attests to the determination and teamwork of the officers of Ang Mokyo Police Division. Members of public are advised to adopt the following measures to avoid falling victim to such scams. Inform the police immediately if anyone attempts to extort money from you. Exercise caution when dealing with strangers online and do not remit or transfer money to people whom you do not know well. Criminals may spend months building a relationship with you online before asking for money. The public is also reminded that anyone who fails to report suspicious financial activities and who knowingly assists fraudsters may be investigated and prosecuted for their involvement in the scams. Do not let people whom you have never met deposit money into your bank account or help them transfer money. Your personal bank account should only be used for your banking needs. If you suspect that you have received illegal funds, lodge a police report immediately. If the money is still with you, do not deal with it. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. Until next month, I'm DSP Julius Lim, signing off.